Sawadee Khan. Welcome to Be My Guest, the program which brings you successful stories of entrepreneurs and organizations in both domestic and international arenas. I'm Sarosha Ratnapian. Creativity is thinking of new things and innovation is doing new things. And in the current situation where we are facing the issue of the energy shortage, innovation on alternative energy plays an active role in satisfying users' needs and making the world environmentally serving and friendly. So in today's episode of the program of Be My Guest, we are learning more about one innovation that is the STC-1, a vehicle driven by solar energy. Currently I am with Kuntita Gonvilasakon, the International College Lecturer of Siam Technology College, Swedika. Swedika. So first of all, could you give a brief introduction of yourself to our fans and be my guest? Um, my name is Tisha Gonvilasakon. So as you said, I'm the lecturer of Siam Technology International College. And also I'm the coordinator for the World Solar Project at Siam Technology College as well. Okay. Talking about World Solar Project here, so it must be related to your innovation, which yes. is standing okay, behind us here. So could you tell us about this innovation a bit? So actually this innovation is, um, is the car or the vehicle that using or leader solar power to drive through and the aim of, the, of this project is to attend the World Solar Challenge, which you have to drive through like over 3,000 kilometers within five to six days mm, okay. with using only solar power. Okay, so um, is there any other objectives of this innovation? Um, also, this, the objective of doing this innovation is for the students in engin energy engineering, automotive technology and electrical engineering to integrate their knowledge mm. together to come up with one innovation mm. that could be promoted under the college name. Mm, okay. And in driving this project here, so I believe there must be some problems, you know, that will come to this result, which is an innovation, which is turns out to be a car or a vehicle. So what so, are they? So as we know that there is a shortage of using the fossil fuels and um, many energy fuels that we can use. So we sh um, people always finding some result for the future of innovation or something that can solve those sort shortage of the problem so we come up with this innovation that could help in the future use mm. as we are developing the solar power now so mm. in the future if the solar power become more powerful or mm. more efficient in everyday use this innovation could be one of those daily life that mm. people can use in the roads or the street and everywhere mm. around the world oh, okay now what about the current situation of solar power um, right now we are having like so what mostly will be like solar farming that they are using the solar power for their factories or offices or some people may use solar power to use like in their small um, gadgets like power bank mm. some of the power bank they use solar power to charge mm. into the power bank and then mm. we can use it to charge mobile phones. Mm, okay, like so we use it um, for mobile phone, okay, and also solar farming as yeah. well. Now in your opinion, okay, in your perspectives here, so what is the possibility of using solar power in the vehicle like this? Um, actually from my experience, I can say that solar power is quite powerful with the vehicles because um, as we see that the sun is shining like too hot every day so it should be enough power for many vehicles to use at the same time so it should be high possibilities for us to use like mm. solar cars or something else with the solar power. Okay, so um, for the next question, could you tell me more about the challenge or you know the contest that you just went through? Um, so the solar challenge that would be like the cars for different countries that they would like to show their innovation and their techniques of pro producing the innovation. So, but the main thing is to produce a vehicle mm. in different types of car that we are using. But on the year 2015 that we went to, we select to go with the Challenger type 
which is the car at the back. You can see the Challenger type will be only one seat type and it will be similar to the car racing. So the aim is to produce like a racing car but using only the solar mm -hmm. and see the technique of how can we manage the solar power as much efficient as we can. Mm, okay, and that's the type yeah. okay, that you participated in. Now, how was the feedback or how was the result of joining this challenge? Um, actually, it's our first time there, so it's quite like struggling or something. And it's our first solar car that we are making. So it's quite difficult for us because first we just use the photos and some learning, some research, doing some research to mm -hmm. come up with this car. And most of the parts of the car, you can see that it's all handmade. Mm -hmm. So we mostly buy the electrical parts or the solar parts and other thing, and then join them together to produce this car. So um, from it's quite cheap comparing to other cars and it's quite efficient because students can integrate their knowledge with each other to produce one car. Mm, okay, and were you satisfied you know, of the result that you have participated in? Um, actually, the good news was we did go to the finish line as we aim for, which is over 3,000 kilometers mm. from the north of Australia and to the south of Australia, and that mm. we were so proud of okay. because we were the first team from Thailand and then the first car from Siam Technology College. Mm, okay, and this vehicle and this innovation actually have run through uh, 3,000 kilometers in Australia already. So uh, throughout the journey here, so have you experienced or encountered any difficulties or challenge? Yes, there were so much challenges while driving too because the rules is we can drive only from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. only. After that, wherever we are stop we have to stay there, we have to camp there. So it's quite challenging because we have to work through the time, with the time and with the teamwork and other things. In some days we just stop beside the road and then we move our carpet mm -hmm. in and then we camp just beside the road in the morning something like mm -hmm. for the night. So how many days in total? That, it um, took. that time it was like four to five days in total. Okay, four to five days in yeah. four to three thousand. Okay, kilometers here. Now the last question for this break will be, um, I would say, um, the lesson that you have joined, you know, or participated in this challenge. So what are they? Um, the main re lesson that I have learned is that it's really good to be a good team within a good teamwork. We're having like good people in the team. We know that we have been tiring working on this car for like four to five months, mm. and we have been through difficulties in the middle of the desert. So it's really good to be prepared. Mm. Okay, so preparation is the key. Yeah, it's a key. And not to mention that, okay, this innovation actually made the world, okay, proud of, especially yeah. you make Thai people, okay, proud of yes. this innovation. However, for now, it's time for a short break. We're right back, we learn more on how this innovation is being processed and also how students can learn from this innovation, okay, doing in order to make the accomplishment. So please stay tuned and be my guest. And welcome back to the program. You're watching Be My Guest with me, Sarosha Ratanapien, and I'm with a professor from Technology of International College. Okay, excuse me, Siam Technology International College, Kuntisha Gon. And during the last break, you have told us about this innovation. So I believe that there is a title okay, of this innovation. So what do you call this innovation that you have created? So this way called the name is SDC1. The reason that we're using the word STC is because it's the abbreviation of the college name, Siang Technology College, so it's STC. And for number one is that we would like to say that this is our first car of the mm. solar. So in the next challenge or the next car we are making, we'll make it as two, three and four in mm. order to see the development of how we studied and how we learned through innovation we are making okay so this is only the first innovation yeah. okay that has been the beginning yes. of the following okay STC version here so how STC one works um, first as we know from the president that there is World Solar Challenge because his university when he was starting his bachelor degree has joined this contest before and then he said like I would like my college name to be one of the team that attend 
or participate in this challenge. So then we said, okay, we'll try our best. So our first phase, we gathered all the lecturers from the technology department and the students that we already select that they are, they are having potential enough to produce this together. So we gather all of them and then we're doing the research by looking at the bird type, looking for the motors and battery that are related and reading through the regulations of what we have to make. Mm. And then we try to decide up one car by looking through the photos of the previous challenge and then see which one we think is the best one. So after that, we um, bought and selected the components that we thought that's related, it should be worked together, and then we try and try. Actually, this is the third car that we made for that challenge. We did the first one and it didn't work as efficiently as we want, so we changed to a second one. And then we moved to this third one that we thought that everything was suited perfectly as we wished for. Mm, okay, so we have to ask you again about the components okay, of okay. STC1. So how, you know, this car has been comprised of? Um, so we used the lead acid batteries and then the two motors on the left and the right at the back of the car. Mm. And we used the um, solar collector in order to gather all the energy from the solar panels in each one. As you can see, it's separated. So we need to collect them into one solar collector mm. in order to charge them into the battery. Okay. That is the main component that okay. we are using. So what happened when um, this car you know, has been running along the journey and then when the night comes out, so how the car you know, can be working at that moment? Um, in the reality, the car will be still moving if there's some batteries uh -huh. and if there's still better energy in the battery. But in the contest, they don't allow us to drive through after mm. 5 p.m. So after the sun stops shining, we have to stop wherever we are. Okay, I see. Okay, like you told us already. And what about the process here? So, uh, what can you tell us a bit about the phase one, you know, until the finishing line or finishing product of STC1? So, how does the work begin? Um, the work. We like, we're doing lots of research, we're doing lots of comparing comparison between the efficiency of each thing like each battery each motors each solar panel mm. and see which one is the best thing we can use for our project this time mm -hmm. okay and what about um the work okay that that that, the, that was yeah. the phase one okay uh, research and then the development now what about the roles and also function of students you know of science college here so what did they do or how did they participate so for the automotive students they will be the one who doing the chassis uh -huh. or the structure of the car mostly in the wheels and the how can we drive the car mm -hmm. and then we'll come to the electrical student who will look into the batteries the solar collector with their student from energy engineering mm -hmm. who will select the best solar panels to gather together so the student they integrate each of their knowledge mm. together to come up with the system of the car. Okay, and in your opinion, what did they learn? You know, from joining this project. Um, actually, they learn a lot because from the college we have some examples of the solar thing, but they may use it for the experiment, but they may never use it for the real life mm -hmm. use. So this is the great opportunity from them to learn and experience the real thing of what they have learned in classroom mm -hmm. and then use those knowledge that they follow from their professors, lecturers and then come up with one project that they could be proud of in the mm, future. Okay, so STC1 obviously stimulated the students' learning yeah. process as well and they can actually turn the theory into practice. Yeah. Now what about um, the um, contribution? You know, to different levels, to society or to the nation or even to our personal level here? Um, for myself, this innovation is, could be really proud of to people to Thailand because it's our first car here for in Thailand that joined World Solar Challenge. So we should be proud of that and it's our student project. So we know that Thai students also can work as, can like compete with foreign students mm -hmm. 
and also this is to support health of the car so in the future we know that we can use the solar power in order to build up the real life vehicle that we can use instead of the fossil fuel car mm. or electric car mm -hmm. okay and this is a very good i would say an um, example of what can really happen in the future maybe on the road okay we might see stc1 okay on thailand's yeah. road okay one day now uh, regarding limitations i believe that innovation is creating something really creative and on another side so on the other hand there are some limitations for sure so what are they yeah um, the limitation is that many things that we would like to use the components uh, like solar panels we cannot find it in Thailand mm. so as I said that it's our first time so we had to do a lot of research so we never sure whether the solar panel we order is the one we expect to do or not because mm -hmm. we cannot try we cannot experience we cannot experiment it we have to import it from other country mm -hmm. in order to get this solar panel so mm -hmm. it's quite limitation because the student was a bit stuck all that for, mm -hmm. at the first time because they're not sure whether it's a good choice mm -hmm. or not we try to make them um, get a solution by themselves and then I would like them to like um, make decision by themselves so it's quite a tough work for them to do to start okay with. and apart from the component obstacle there is also might be some limitation in team working as well when students have to work together yes because as as I said that they came from different departments so it's quite difficult for them to work as a team at the first time because it's quite a big project so they have to like stay together at the college for many nights in order to work through this mm -hmm. sometimes when they are exhausted there might be a bit agreement or something but as the lecturers and other professors they try to keep everything go well more professional and they learn a lot to be a teamwork so when we went to Australia they become more professional in working Okay, so STC1 is not only a product, it's not only a vehicle, but it's an innovation, okay? And STC1 is not the end yet for Siam Technology College here, because on the next break, we'll talk more about another innovation, which is called STC2. So find out more on STC2 and also other future plans of STC College, okay, on Be My Guest. And welcome back to Be My Guest, and I'm Soro Sharatanaki, and I'm still with a professor from Siam Technology International College, Ajahn Tisha Gon. And Ajahn, you told us already about SCC1, which is the innovation okay, which makes Thailand proud of. However, we have to ask you about another project which is coming up as well. Okay, that is what we call STC2. Yeah, STC2, but for this project, we are separating into two cars because we would like to explore another type of the car, of the class of the car that we are going to challenge in the World Solar Challenge. So the first type will be Cluster, which we call it STC2 Edison. For the Challenger class, and then another one is for the Cruiser class, which we call STC2 Nicola. The reason we are using the Edison and Nicola because they have a bit conflict of electrical use and something, so we think it might be a bit challenge of these names. Mm. So the first type is the Challenger car. It will be the same as STC1, which is the one seat, and we race with the speed. So. The car with the fastest speed, the car with going into the finish line first will be the winner. Mm -hmm. But for the second type, which is closer cars, mm -hmm. it will be the car that will be like a prototype for the real life car in the future. The closer cars will have different regulation with mm -hmm. the Challenger mm -hmm. because they will allow their seats will be like two to four seats, mm -hmm. which will be similar to the real car. And then we aim to decide as a sport car. Mm -hmm. So the function inside the car has to be as like sport car. And the outside of the car has to be like nice and sporty, beautiful, mm -hmm. classic, something like okay. that. It depends on our design. But when we raise the scores and the, um, they will manage by looking through the beauty of the car, the functionality of the car, and how the energy is managed within the car. Okay. Like so for a cruiser, okay, version here, so it's going to be running in Australia or in the same challenge again this in year? In the same. 
Okay, so what is the goal okay, of joining and participating in this challenge by having Cruiser Car in? So what do you aim for? We aim to make a car that is prototype in the real life car and we would like to aim to make it as a sport car because it, it would be like a bit challenging if we have like the solar sport car in Thailand. Mm -hmm. So we think that this will be another innovation that could attract the interest of the students and can be another innovation that can be proud from mm -hmm. people in Thailand. And are there any limitations as all to here with the cruiser? Limitations. Um, the limitation is that sometimes the as the cruiser it should be bigger mm -hmm. with two to four seats and the weight is like heavier. So sometimes solar car is not enough. The only solar is not enough. So we are allowed to charge, but they will deduct the scores if we mm -hmm. are using other charging that is not mm -hmm. solar. So we try to use the best of the solar of the efficiency of solar in order to make this cruiser mm -hmm. run just like challenger okay so that means okay be my guest and also others will be able to see yes okay this version of a car very soon here and as you are a professor I so I believe that you teach so many students to be really creative and as okay we can see obviously here that this is a great innovation the okay, care of Thailand so I have to ask you about the importance of innovation in your ideas um, from my idea is that innovation can be anything not just for the technology but in for businesses in other industries innovation is also important so it's good for students to be creativity and active all the time mm. so if they are able to change from small normal things into bigger things mm. that is a bit different mm. or a bit challenging it will be good for their future career okay and in your teaching class how can you encourage students you know, to be creative and innovative um, mostly I will ask them to think out of the box I would ask them to be more crazy with their thoughts mm. I don't want them to be like this is what you've seen and then you will get this as your solution. I want them to step forward of what already we have. So it's all about the creative thinking, okay? And then this thinking has been turned into the action, okay? And STC1, STC2 and also other coming version, okay, will be the examples, okay, yes. of how students can exercise that creativity. Now, what about, I would say, um, the development of students? Okay, after passing and encountering this project. So what students have learned so far? They learn to be more prepared. They learn lots of languages. They learn to um, communicate with foreigners. They learn from what other people mm. making. Like from the last time, we had a lot of friends from other countries and we have really great opportunities to learn about the innovation and technology from different teams. And so we know that what should be developed in our next car, mm -hmm. what we can do, what we can improve to make our car better in the new version of a car. Okay, and in terms of the teamwork here, so what kind of students should be selected to join in this challenge? Actually, we have the same students, some of the same students from last challenge mm -hmm. to be the leaders of the team because they already experienced and then they know how to make the teamwork go as well. Mm -hmm. They know how what to prepare you know, for each team to make sure that their junior is good and be prepared mm -hmm. for the project. So they will be the one who select their students. They will have some will have some like interviewing, will have looking and asking the professor that teach that student and see whether they have enough potential mm -hmm. or not to be the team. I see, okay. So uh, I believe that this students okay, have been selected due to their communication skill and also team working skill as well. So how team working is essential okay, for their daily life? Team, work, team working is really important in actually in every project, I think, because in, as we know that many heads is always better than one head. If you have many people in a team, if you if you know learn to listen to each other, if you learn to understand each other reasons, it will be better to come up with 
new things. So the students already learn that if they listen to each other, if they understand, if they communicate well, they know that their project will be successfully finished. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, any final notes for our fans? So I would like Thai people to support our STC too because um, Thai, right now it's the second time for Thailand to join and participate in the World Solar Challenge. So it would be good to encourage our students to make them feel more energetic and as enthusiastic while doing the project. Okay, and we are looking forward to seeing okay, another version of STC2. And thank you very much for your time today. That has been our wrap up of our interview today. Kapun Kat. And obviously, innovation and creativity move the world, and younger generations seem to be the major forces brought change to the world to make it a friendlier and more satisfying place. And STC1 is one of the proofs that show us that we just can't stop doing something better and contributive to this world. And that's all the time we have for Be My Guest this week. Thank you very much for watching us and tuning in. For more information, please log on to thainews.pirad.go.th/en. And I'm Sarosha Ratanapian Swadika.